Hi Ho Keegan the Vlog here. Welcome back to the channel and back to the Mark II barn find. Um, the weather has been really crap here recently, so uh, we're doing some inside projects this weekend. Uh, we've got the turbo off of the car right now. You saw that happen in, I think, the first or second video for this car. Uh, it's been sitting in a box for a bit and... Uh, you know, we think we have a plan moving forward to put this thing back together and see if we can uh, run it without large quantities of raw oil coming out of the exhaust. Uh, originally, we suspected this turbo was the problem. Uh, we know the turbo wasn't working because you couldn't hear it. It wasn't spooling. I think a previous owner thought the same thing about this turbo and was was going after the wastegate here on the uh, on the turbo itself on the turbo housing and. A couple of these bolts are pretty severely rounded off on the inside, so I think this was this was identified as a problem before, but failed to remove it. I had to actually order a set of these stubby guys in order to get in there because a regular Allen wrench won't fit in here. And I imagine what happened was uh, somebody went in there with a regular sized Allen wrench and wasn't able to get the proper angle on it and rounded them off. So those are going to have to be cut off. A couple of things I'm going to link to a video that I watched on somebody doing this and uh, and properly marking the orientation of some of the housings where they go back together because they're they're not indexed in any way. Did not do that. Uh, even if I had done that, we've done a lot of scrubbing and cleaning on these parts, so probably would have rubbed those marks away. Um, so we're going to do the best we can to uh, to set that all up. I think the only thing that that Im impacts is not the operation of the turbo, but uh, the the ability to fit it back into its proper location inside the engine compartment. We are going to put a turbo back together. Fun times. Okay, after trying to modify my snap ring pliers to get down in there, I realized that the angled ones aren't going to work at all because of how deep that clip is. So we're just going to have to take this up to the shop and uh, see if we've got the right tool. Otherwise, we're going to Home Depot. Here we go. I thinketh this mighteth beeth itteth. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Look at you. Got you, you little... Pretty far down there. I don't know if I, oh, I pushed it out. All right, cool. <laughs> it's going to be a giant pain to get those back in. Got one of the new snap rings back in. All right, so I think that was going to be the hardest little part to get back in. That uh, that snap ring is the furthest in, so good to go there. Let's keep going.
Okay, uh, before we put this all back together, I'm going to take this back up to the shop and clean up the surface uh, for the wastegate because uh, it's got all kinds of crud on there. We want that to, to mat and uh, see if I can get some more of this gunk cleaned out of, out of here. Yeah, look at that. Uh, we got this turbo housing all cleaned up here. We're gonna we're gonna take this back to my house because it's f***ing cold, 20 degrees outside. So uh, so we're gonna take this back to my house and do some do some more projecting inside the uh, inside the warmth of my basement. So just so make sure you get the uh, this new seal around here. Okay, lesson learned here. Um, the way these things all go together, uh, there's no index. So the only way you know what the orientation is supposed to be is if you made markings or had good pictures. Uh, so what I've been doing, I'll flash back here, is going back to uh, my old videos and uh, looking at the pieces on the screen and seeing like the uh, the angle, how, how this surface was angled to this surface. Uh, you can see where this uh, oil port uh, sticks out and stuff like that, just trying to get it as close as possible. I know it's not going to be perfect because I didn't mark it. I'm hoping that close enough is good enough because I believe the only reason it matters is for all the external connections, uh, uh, the hoses and, and, and whatnot routing to it so they that they reach and, and are, are angled properly. So I think close enough is good enough, but we'll find out. Turbo back together and ready to go on the car. So uh, I'm going to flash to some decision, some talk of what's coming up next with the head. I'll take a look at what's coming up. Yes. You drive them out that way. So all this shoulder right here is going to keep it aligned. You, you freeze this thing, it'll almost fall in. We're going to throw in a hot dog down the hallway. Yeah, that's good. Okay. So Ivan has convinced us that uh, we're going to go ahead and knock these things out. And what the what the what the to wear part? Yeah, Seven hundred dollar Volkswagen. Let's it's, it up. It's Fifteen degrees. What else we got? Yeah. To do? <laughs> see what see what came out. Oh. Mm. 
All right, that's going to do it for this episode of TR3 Wrench Time into the Mark II Volkswagen Barn Find. Thanks for watching. See you next time.